Hey everybody, my name is Jamie. We're going to continue on with part 11 of our series. And in this tutorial, we're going to create a game camera so that we can center on our player. So uh, what we're going to do first is create a new class in our graphics package. And that's going to be called Game Camera with a capital Game and a capital C for cameras. So like that, capital G, capital C. And in here, we're going to define our class. And it's going to require the class library, and it's also going to pass in the return of the class library. All right, so in this, we're going to create some private variables, one being x offset, y offset, and we're going to have a handler like most of our other things. So now that we've got those created, we can, uh, we can actually define the class and uh, create the constructor. So we will say var game camera is equal to class dot extend. We're going to pass in our object with our initialize function, aka the constructor. And it's actually going to take a handler. It's going to take an x offset to start out with and a y offset like so. And in here, we're just going to set things respectively. So x offset is equal to the passed in x offset. Same thing with y offset. y offset is equal to underscore y offset. And finally, we will set our handler. So handler is equal to underscore handler. <clears throat> and that should be all we need in our constructor. So the next thing we're going to create is um, a couple a couple functions that uh, will help us kind of uh, update those variables. So we will say we will create a new function within our object here and it's going to be called center on entity. So this is going to allow us to center the camera on a specific entity. So in this case, we will pass in E for entity, and we'll say x offset is equal to E dot get y, get x. All right. Then we're also going to want to subtract, and we're going to grab our handler dot get width divided by 2. And this is going to center our character on the screen. And the next one we'll do, y offset. That's going to be equal to e dot get y. And these have capital X and Y. And that's going to be handler dot get height divided by 2. All right. So as we know in our handler class, we have those two functions there. We have get width and get height. And that's what we're using to grab the width and the height. All right, so now that we have this going, we can create, oops, and again, I do this a lot. That needs to be a semi or a regular colon there. And then we also will have a function called moves. So we will say move. And this is a function, and we're going to pass in an x amount and a y amount. <clears throat> and that's going to say x offset plus equals x amount and y offset plus equals y amount. So, and you can see what that's doing. That's incrementing our uh, X and Y move by a set amount. Okay, and I believe these are the only two functions we will uh, need for right now. The rest that we're going to have are just going to be getters and setters. So I will say getter, and we will do get X offset. that'll return uh, 
that will return the x offset. And we'll do the same thing with get y offset. Return y offset. Oops. Get. And that is y offset. And uh, we can do as well some overrides on our. So I think for some reason it's. Uh, again. There we go. Um, we will have the ability to set the offsets as well. So we can set x offset and we'll call these setters. And these are some the ability to override and actually set that. Um, so we will pass in uh, oops. we will pass in a offset. So we will pass in offset and set x offset equal to the passed in offset. We'll do the same thing for y. <clears throat> and we need a comma here. And lastly, we will do like we always do in return return game camera. So now we need now we need to go into our app.js and put game camera. Game camera. That's app slash glasses slash gfx slash game camera. There we are. Oops. So we've got that. And now that this is set here, we should be able to now go into our class for our player and have it has a handler here. So we need to Oh, this is what we need to do. We need to go into our game right here. And we need to include game camera and add it here as well. Game camera, so we have access to it. And in the in the initialize function right here, let's create our game camera. So we will we will put it right underneath our handler. So we will say game camera is equal to a new game camera and we will pass in our handler 0 and 0 as our starting offsets. All right, so now that we had the game camera, we can go Oh, we also want to come up here, the very top and create the game camera variable. So we'll say game Oh, we don't want to put it with our game state. So we'll put it up here with the handler. Game camera. All right, so now we set it down here. And if we come into our handler class, we can add a uh, what we don't actually don't need to. We have a get, uh, let's see, get width, get height. We need to have one more function, I believe, and that will be uh, get game camera. Yeah. So we'll come down here and we'll say get game camera. And that's a function that will return return game dot get game camera. So that just means now we need to come uh, back into our game 
and create one more function here as well get game camera and that will return return game camera so now we are actually going to have access in the handler to a function that returns the game camera from our game all right so now if we go to our player class in here we have access to the uh, the handler that we pass in with this dot handler so in our draw what we're actually going to do is um, in our render sorry in our render we're going to Uh, do a few things. Actually, we'll do one in the render and one in the tick. So in the tick at the very end, what we're going to say is uh, this dot handler dot get game camera dot center on entity. And this should allow us to center on this entity, um, the player. The other thing that we need to do for everything that moves now, we have to take in the game camera. So this is going to be this dot handler dot get game camera. All right, and and we're going to get the x offset. So we're going to subtract from our x position the x offset. So get x offset. And the same thing with the y. So we will subtract this dot handler dot get game camera dot get x offset like so. So this should subtract from our current position uh, the x and y offset. Now because we're centering on this, the, what that's actually going to do is it's going to set um, the player to the center of the screen. Or the center of our um, of our view, kind of. So let's see what kind of errors we have before we continue on. Let's see if there's anything that we need to fix. All right. So it looks like our character is gone. So let's see what we're doing here. First, we can see if maybe one of our functions is returning null. So we can say this dot handler dot get game camera dot get x offset, and we're going to we're going to console dot log this. And it is negative 280. So that means that our our uh, player is currently being rendered way off to the side. All right, and the reason that um, let me remove the console.log. The reason that we're having a problem seeing him is because uh, over here I put x offset instead of y offset for <clears throat> subtracting from the y. So we'll save this, come here, refresh the page, and let's, oops, let's refresh. And there we are. So now when I move the, when I move him or move the, the key press the keys he doesn't move anywhere well it's actually moving um, but he's centered on the screen the only problem is we need to update these tiles so that they also will uh, use the offset so if we go to our our world class right here and we have our X and Y positions that we render we need to come to the end of that and say minus this dot 
and then we should have uh, we should have a handler in here as well. So in our world class, we have to we have to pass in the handler. So what I will do is when we create the path, we will also let me yeah. So when we create the path, we also need to add in a handler, and we will set this dot handler equal to handler. Now we can go into our game state and when we create our new world we can then pass in the handler and that is our handler here. There we go. So now, now in our world class we've got everything set here. Um, we're passing in the handler, setting it to handler and now down where we were in the X, we can say this dot handler dot get game camera dot get X offset. That will subtract the X offset and the same thing for the Y. This dot handler dot get game cam camera dot get X offset. So we've got that. Or again, I almost said did the same problem with the X and Y. All right, so now let's come back to our page. We will refresh the screen and look at this. Now we are moving around. Now the only problem is is we've got this weird thing where they're splitting apart. So that's because our position is not a it's not an integer. It's a float, and we're getting these these movements that are that are partial pixels and it just causes problems. So I'm going to go into our game camera and where we return X and Y offset, let's return uh, and parse int. So we're going to parse these as integers and we will return them as integers. Parse int. And now we refresh the page. Let's see if that helps. There we are. Now they don't fall apart. But as you can see, this looks just like the little map we made. And we're able to explore the whole map. All right, this is pretty awesome, guys. It's starting to look like an actual game. So one thing that we're going to work on in the next video um, is optimizing this so that um, so that it doesn't render pixels or render tiles that aren't um, on the screen because currently this is no problem. It can handle these pick these tiles no problem, but you know we don't want we want it to only have to render what we are currently seeing on the screen. And uh, in the next video video we'll do that and uh, and it's going to kind of be a little bit complicated to understand. Um, I don't know if you really need to understand what's going on. Uh, in this case because it's something you can just reuse and um, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can and you also will have uh, the ability to go to code and mores and he'll explain the concept because again we're copying his tutorial essentially and uh, all the concepts are the same I'm just modifying it so that we do this whole thing in JavaScript and I kind of help with all the hurdles and changes that JavaScript has over Java so uh, I guess this is gonna be it for this tutorial um, also, I want to remind everybody, if you go to EvolvedServers.com using promo code GAME2D, they, uh, they will give you your first month completely free of any VPS that you sign up with. Again, that's EvolvedServers.com, promo code GAME2D. Use that at checkout and you'll get one month free. Uh, I'll leave you guys here. Play around, change your maps around, play with everything, change your tiles, do a little bit of stuff. Um, I should have a tutorial, another tutorial real soon. All right, see you in that one. Bye.